Hi, welcome to Mayhem News Live, Impact Thursday for 11-7-2013. Uh, these are our smaller shows, so it's not going to be, uh, we're going to cover TNA Impact. Uh, Seth says hello early. Uh, TNA opens up with Adam Pacman Jones sitting backstage talking with Dixie Carter. She introduces him to us, uh, people and would be uh, just another person that's never going to see a ring. But anyway. Uh, Sting uh, comes out, uh, he lists off a bunch of stuff for the main event mafia that they've done, and then he pretty much uh, dissolves the main event mafia, which we knew was going to happen eventually anyway. Um, it seems that TNA knows how to use the main event mafia, but they apparently don't know how to use aces and eights. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, each member basically says their piece. Um, Angle begins to talk, and Rude... Uh, comes out, interrupts, which ends up them being in a, a brawl, and uh, they, uh, you know, same thing, you know, uh, they're they're pushing that uh, rude and angle uh, thing. So, um, damn. I'm sorry. You know, my nose is itching right there. Anyway, um, so uh, they're pushing that probably for the next pay per view. Um, no contest for the Velvet versus Brooke versus ODB match because Gail Kim and um, Tapa comes out and interferes. Uh, I do agree that TNA seems a little fresher since Hulk Hogan's not there. and um, But um, I do agree that it seems you know, a little fresher. Um, and if Bischoff is truly gone, that may be another reason too. Uh, TNA continues to provide sustaining life support for in my opinion is a dead angle uh, which I'm talking about aces and eights and uh, you know uh, sorry we did not have an earthquake uh, Seth kind of bumped the phone um, but they keep, they keep pumping life into this aces and eights they come out thinking about voting to disband and of course it all turns out it's mainly a ploy to get Anderson in the ring and beat the hell out of him uh, I'm at a loss for words as far as aces and eights. I don't know where they're planning on going with it. Um, apparently forever. Um, Ethan wrestles some unknown wrestler. Again, a stupid way of making a wrestler seem powerful and awesome. Um, but uh, Daniels and Cass defeated uh, Eric Young and Joseph Park. Uh, they, of course, had to throw Martini in. Park's face to win. Uh, Jeff Hardy defeats Chris Saban in a high-flying action stuff match. Uh, as you can imagine, with these two flyers, uh, good match to end the show. Uh, at least we didn't have to open up uh, the show with Dixie Carter standing in the ring, making all the neighborhood dogs howl at a very loud rate. Um, I'm going to say this. Uh, I'm going to try to review. Uh, I finally think I figured out about Ring Warriors. Um, so I think I'm going to be able to review that show. I'm going to try. I'm going to do it on Tuesday show, and uh, if if it stays fixed, then I'll do that show every week or whenever they put a video out. Um, and um, but I, I think this week's show TNA. Uh, it seems that you know uh, you got talk of Mickey James coming back. You know, there's talk about some of the people that have been recently released. They are going back to Orlando on the 21st. Um, it is a smaller venue, but it's still one that they're going to be at every week, uh, except for maybe an occasional, you know, probably pay-per-view or something. I think that's what they need to do. They need to take their pay-per-views on the road and stay at the impact zone, you know. So, um, but um, uh, also, we're coming up here in the next uh, few days, we're going to have Busting for Autism. That is a Zach Pack Promotions, one of our sponsors thing it'll be the november the 16th and the 17th um if you can't buy tickets and you're not going to be in that area uh don't don't fret if you want to if you want to donate uh it's a good cause you can uh go to their web page and that's uh zackpackpromotions.com slash busting for autism they have a lot of auctions and stuff that's going on uh proceeds or you know if you win the auction you know it's, it's mainly a donation uh, anything helps. We appreciate it. Uh, they're also trying to fix. They're working with uh, the real Louisville, Louisville Ghostbusters, trying to fix Ecto. Ecto will be at Busting for Autism 
but he is on uh, <laughs> the uh, Facebook for the car actually said that he was on a royal royal barge being taken to uh, busting for autism from Kentucky so that's going to be cool Ecto's going to be there uh, also we're trying to uh, one of our other sponsors is me and my wife's webpage um, you know I just help her out uh, but it's uh, fightdisabilityslurs.wordpress.com uh, we're just trying to stop slurs in general but um, as you know my son has downs and disability slurs are really close to our heart um, but if you've actually you know read some of the stuff on the page you'll understand why um, but we're trying to stop racial you know intellectual any kind of slur doesn't matter what it is um, also our theme song for this show is uh, New Blood by Throttle Throttle allowed us to use that as our theme song and I really appreciate them doing that and uh, they have a new album out called Razor Wire Finish Line uh, you can find them at Amazon and you can also find them on iTunes uh, and as always I always give Blast 52 which is an Irish band uh, and I always give Stephanie and, and them a, a holler because you can follow the main account um, at, at Blast 52 or you can follow their her account which is Ask Blast 52 Drummer uh, you can actually go search them at Blast 52 on Facebook. At the end of the show, you'll see a, a little diagram. I've got their YouTube how it's spelled. And you can follow them. You can actually hear some of their songs before you buy it. They've got a new album out, uh, We Can Pretend. Uh, it's available at the bottom of that little diagram. You'll see the web pages for their uh, Amazon and iTunes. And I also want to uh, put a, a little shout out to... Uh, a young fellow fighting childhood cancer. Uh, I found out about him through Chance Prophet, which is he's a indie wrestler, uh, local, and to, he, me and him talk a lot. His name is Gabe Viall. Him and his family need your prayers. I'm not going to post any web page or nothing because they are being inundated with stuff. So I'm not going to add to that by giving out a web page or you know email address or anything. Just think, you know, put your prayers and your thoughts. But um. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna let uh, Throttle take us out. That's been the show for today. Uh, like I said, these shows are about ten minutes long, sometimes shorter, depending on the stuff that goes on. What I have to talk about. So um, uh, don't don't forget to catch the next video. I'm gonna be doing um, uh, SmackDown Fridays. So um, uh, catch you later, and we're gonna let Throttle take us out. <laughs> <laughs>